Okay, I wanna welcome everybody. It is March the 18th, 2022. And first off, I wanna welcome, we've got a couple of guests here tonight, Nancy and Tomas, our guests. Uh, had somebody else ask me about coming in and I sent her a link as well. I, have, I don't see her coming in yet, so uh, she may not may not be coming in uh, this week. But anyway, just wanna welcome you guys. We actually have a new member. His name is Jay. I don't see him here today as well. Uh, hopefully he'll make it to the next meeting next week. Uh, next week. Um, first thing I want to do is uh, play a quick slide slideshow from our Circle B uh, outing that we did last uh, month. So I'm going to share my screen real quick and play this real quick for you. Share. And... So it's, it's just it's a real short, so it shouldn't take too long. I blinked wow. a couple of times and I missed three photos each time I blinked. <laughs> pretty, pretty quick. There's not that many, not many people send me, not everybody. Well, I'm not complaining about the number of photos, but you could have left each one up a little longer. Oh uh, yeah, I, no, just, I didn't man. want it to last long. <laughs> well, I'll but, tell you this. I was wondering which, which circle B did you go to? Because I didn't see any of those things there. <laughs> well, we, <laughs> you, you noticed that we saw a couple of things that were repetitive because we were all kind of shooting the same things but well I'm just yeah, saying those are, those are wonderful we had nine people show up and we had a we spent about two hours walking around out on the trail so we had a we had a nice little morning there and we did oh, see the, the owls were probably the most interesting thing that we saw so and the ele the alligator that almost uh, got Karen yeah <laughs> well she thought it was going to get her but it wasn't. The, the picture that we were kind of all bunch of standing around in that looked like by the water with this like platform. She was standing on that platform on the very right hand side and then this giant alligator swam right up right next to her. And I'm standing back behind everybody. I'm like, Karen, look to your right, look to your right. And she's looking out in the sky somewhere. And I said, no, down. And she, and she jumped about a foot. And uh, we <laughs> got a picture of her going, ah, you know, so yeah, that alligator was pretty close. Uh, she was anywhere. She was in, in any danger, but it was close. Anyway, so that was our our outing at Circle B. I just wanted to let everybody know, and I will put that on the website so we everybody can take a look at it later. You you do realize that uh, alligators do not eat Floridians, right? <laughs> Only people from other. <laughs> right. Lynn, if you didn't notice, Jack is on now. Yeah, so I'm. Jack, you get to be the third judge tonight. Lucky you. Because. <laughs> You're, you're muted. You're supposed to do it last month and I did it for you. So it's your turn this month. <laughs> I mute yourself, you're still, dude. <laughs> you're still muted. Okay, I've got a bunch of announcements we need to make tonight. So first thing I'm gonna do is what I normally do is the assignments. Um, uh, March obviously is light trails and April is triptych. And I got some questions about what a triptych is or how to make a triptych. So I created a, I'm gonna share my screen again. Whew, okay. So I created a um, video. And it's over here on the second page. If you go, if you're, you know, at the main, if you're, when you, when you open up the TBCC, my TBCC, whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Yeah, but okay. Uh, when you open up, you've got this little menu thingy here. Just click on that. And the, uh, if you go over here to the left-hand side to education, 
and click on that and scroll up. Whoops. The video is right here on how to make a triptych. It's about, it's less than 10 minutes long. It's not just too long to show today, but go ahead and take a look at that. If you have any questions, just let me know, you know, send me an email and I'll answer your questions if you have any. Is that done in Lightroom? Yes, it's all done in Lightroom. Okay. All right, let me go back. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about real quick. Oh, well, let me just go. The, uh, the May assignment is wildflowers. And uh, just for anybody that's new or doesn't know, this information is right here on this second page as well, annual composite competition assignments. And it gives you not only what it is, but a little bit to a description of what they're gonna be looking for. Uh, June, the assignment is minimalism. Uh, and then you can also see the rest of the ones for the rest of the year. Uh, the education nights, uh, next week, we're going to be doing uh, uh, a special presentation. And I don't know if you've seen this, but this is um, going to be called Setting the Scene by John Putnam. And John is from uh, the Acadia area of Maine. And he is going to be talking about going from the epic down to basically you can go, you know, take a scene and what do you find in that to, to create, you know, better, you know, even better pictures than the epic scene. So going from something wide and broad down to something smaller, smaller, and even down to macro. So he's, I, I've listened to his talk and he does a really good job of, he's a really interesting guy. Uh, well, most, most of his images are from Acadia. So anybody that's familiar with Acadia or is interested in Acadia, it's a, it's, he's, he's uh, got a lot of good stuff to show. So he'll be talking on next week. Um, in April, we're going to be uh, listening to a talk about minimalism, which again is our subject or assignment in June. So a friend of mine named Scott Norris, is, uh, that's pretty much all he does is minimalism type photography. So he's going to be talking about, about that to us. In May, we're going to be listening to uh, another friend of mine, Mary Roberts, and she's going to be talking about the power of personal projects. And I had never really, uh, I knew she was, she was big on this kind of thing, but I just finished doing the, uh, well, last weekend, the Out of Chicago uh, conference was on and they had a lot of people talking about projects and it suddenly dawned on me how, how important doing a project is. And a lot of times you're doing one, if you shoot a lot, you're doing one and you don't even realize it. So this should be an interesting talk that Mary's gonna give us. And then in June, we're going to have Robert and Jim doing, uh, window lighting via the window a window bleh, lighting via the window uh for portraits and that is one of our future assignments as well later in the year so i just wanted to let you you know get you guys up to date as to what we're doing in that regard let me unstop sharing and then the other thing that we're going to be doing or the other thing we need to talk about is the outings um, our next outing, I think, is going to be at Eureka Springs Park, which is in Hillsborough County. It's over kind of catty corner from the state fairgrounds. It's a smaller park, but it's, a, it's got a bridge, a little bridges. It's got a, a boardwalk. And this time of the year, the, uh, the water lilies start blooming. So they have gardens. They have a greenhouse. So there should be flowers um, there. It's a good place to shoot infrared because they have some big, beautiful oak trees and a lot of stuff like that. So uh, we haven't set on a date yet, but as soon as we have settled on a date, I will let you know. Um, okay, two, two big announcements. The first one is a bit of a change. Uh, in the past, since we've been paying for these instructors to come into our education nights, we've kind of been resistant to letting anybody come in that isn't a member because you've paid your dues and you should, you know, get an exceptional, you know, treatment in terms of all these speakers coming in because we do have to pay them all. But we decided to try to increase, you know, try to improve our our seating in the in the in the neighborhood or the community, and to encourage people in, to show them that we're not about just about competition and critique. We're also about education. So what we're going to do, and we're going to try this out for a while, see how it works. Each paid member. All of you guys, except for our guests, um, can bring in one person as a visitor on an education night, one of these special ones. Now, if it's you know, Jim or Robert or one of us doing the education night, that's that's different. That anybody can come onto those. But if it's one of our special presentations, 
then it's, you know, we normally, as like I said, don't normally let anybody in that's not a member. So you can bring in one guest, but that person can only come once. Now they can come and watch a competition for, you know, for free if they want to do that as well. But ideally we hope that once they realize what we're doing here, that they'll want to join and become a member. Any questions about that? So what you would do is if you've got a, somebody that you think would be interested, get, you could send me their, you need to send me their email address, their name and their email address, and I will send them the, uh, the link on Zoom so that they can join us. So we are encouraging, encouraging people to invite people out on those particular nights. Yep, yep. And we got Lourdes in the house. <laughs> Hi. She's just learning photography. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Lee is driving towards her. So that's what's going on now. Okay. The other big change that we're going to, we've, we're, we've talked about this quite a bit uh, on the board for a while. And we kind of came to a decision this past month. And this is a biggie. We have been meeting on the third and the fourth Fridays of the month of every month except for November and December basically for a long time uh, we can't even remember nobody can remember when it wasn't that way well we've we've had a couple of issues we I know we've got members that we don't see we got 50 members guys right now there's 26 people in here where are the other 24 people you know is it because it's Friday night maybe the other issue is I've been trying to get as you know I look at work at trying to get these speakers to come in and on the, anybody under 40, 40, 45 you know, years old is not interested in doing anything with us on a Friday night. So we are going to be changing our meeting night from Friday to Thursday night, starting in June. So both the competition night and the education nights will be on the third and fourth Thursdays. And we'll give it a try and see if it works out. If we, if, you know, we, everybody decides they can't be there on a Thursday night, then uh, you know we, we got to, you know, we got to try something new because we're kind of stagnant right now with the number of people that we've got coming in here, and we need to try to see if we can improve that. So, any questions about that? Now we'll put out an announcement. It won't. This won't. This will start with the competition in June. So that will be on a Thursday night, and that and the. Um, and the education night that month will be in June as well, or on Thursday night as well. Any questions? Uh, yes, I do. Sure. Will that, will that advance the deadline day for the competition entries? Yes, that will push it back till Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. night. Okay, okay, yep. thank you. Yep. Lynn, can um, I ask a question? May I ask a question? Sure. Are there any members here tonight that would find the change in date objectionable. Raise your hand if I, I would. I would be curious to know if anybody finds that objectionable. Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Fong. Well, there's one one yeah. over there. <laughs> there's Fong. Okay. All right. Well, good. We hope it's a positive step. Yeah. Well, we're gonna, like I said, we'll try it. If it doesn't work out, we'll go back. But. Um, it just, it, I have never been in a club and I've been in many clubs that met uh, during the week and never have I been in one that met on Friday. So, um, we'll just see if, if, see if this makes a little bit of difference and, and gets us more. I mean, for example, Jim is not here tonight. If we had had the meeting was on Thursday night, he had, been, he'd be able to he'd most likely be able to be here. So, um, you know, a lot of people go away on the weekends and they leave on Friday. That's the word. Lee is on the way being away for the weekend and so he's managed to get in on this in, in the car but not everybody's you know can do that or will do that so just trying to see if we can you know pull in more more participate par participation anyway um Robert do you hey, have, that's all from me Robert do you have any comments you're muted you're muted <laughs> And I, I think you put everything out there that we've talked about. So, yes, we're good. Hey, Lynn, you're, are we talking the 16th and the 23rd of June? Uh, I think so, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's the third and the fourth Thursdays. Okay, because, yeah, there was five Thursdays that month. But yeah. Okay. So it'll be the, it's always, it's going to still be the same, the third and the fourth. 
And then obviously November, it's even though it's a Thursday, that would be on Thanksgiving. So we're not going to have, uh, we will not have a, uh, the uh, education night in, in November. In December, we don't have anything other than the party. So um, that stays the same. But I will send out a notice to, the, you know, obviously for everybody, uh, I'll send out an email uh, to the whole group um, so that everybody knows about it and can anticipate it and change your calendars accordingly. Any other comments or questions from anyone? Actually, in June, that will be the um, 18th, I think I just saw. The third, the third Thursday is the 16th and the 23rd, so it'll be early that month. Yeah, yeah some months it's... I mean, it would have been early, it would have been early even on Friday, but just... Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you know how that slips up on us sometimes. Early this month, too, so... Lee, I want to see Christmas party picture. So ask Jack. Oh yeah, well, I'll talk to Jack. Jack, do you have the Christmas party picture of the whole group? Yes, I do. Okay, could you get it to me and I'll put it on the website. I had totally forgotten about that. <laughs> oh, I thought I will we'll do that. Yeah, I never saw it. So and, and Fung asked me about it and then she reminded me just now. So if yeah, if you could send it to me, I will put it uh, up on the website. But thank you. Um, anything else, guys? All right, I guess we'll go ahead and get started with our um, competition and and then critiques. We have forty seven images tonight. And uh, J Jack, can you go ahead and set up the chat for a personal chat to me? Yes. Would send you like test? me to test it? Yes, please. Got it. Okay, so that's where you're going to be doing your scoring. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. Robert, you ready? <laughs> mm -hmm. And and one last thing in, in terms of scoring, Lynn, for clarification, uh, we have to submit a we have to put a decimal point and then one or two numbers after the decimal point. Uh, one. So like one. Yeah, okay. like seven point six or something like that. Yeah. You're only interested in tenths, not one hundredths. Right. Yeah, we're not quite that picky. <laughs> thank, thank you. Jack, are you sick? He, he sounds yes. very hoarse. <laughs> yes, I, I've been under the weather for several days, and okay. that's not good. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll notice I haven't submitted any photos. I haven't been up to it. Uh, doctors don't get sick. Yeah. That's, oh, you better that's believe that's we do. Doctors get don't get sick. We make the worst patients too. <laughs> oh, I hope okay. you feel better soon. Yep, hopefully you feel better. Thank you. But you know, it was after last month you were drugged, so I don't know which which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The first uh, one is, and this is a, the assigned uh, sign, by the way, and this one is called uh, Morning Com Commute Small Town. Oops, that didn't work. Guys, I'm gonna have to undo that real quick. I lost my uh, chat here. Where'd the chat go? Where'd that chat go? Oh, there it is. I put it over here where I can see it. Okay. Back to full. Score is 22, that's an award for Alan. Next one is Fun Spinning.
Score is 22. That is an honorable mention for Lee Wynn. Next one is Tilt a World Trails. Score is 22. That's an honorable mention for Chuck. Next one is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> Score is 23. That's an award for Chuck. Next one is Dome of Fire. Score is 22. That's an award for Sherry uh, Kalzinski. Got two Sherry's here tonight. <laughs> Next one is a circle of fire. Nancy, to answer your question, all of these are assigned and they're all tra light, light trails is this is supposed to be the subject of everything. So that's what we're doing right here. The assignment is for light trails. The next one is called City Bus Leaving the Expressway. Oh, that previous one was a was a 22, which is an award for Sherry Kaczynski, by the way. Can't do two things at once. <laughs> Score is 21. It's an honorable mention for Barry. Next one is fireworks. Score is 23. That's an award for Rod. Next one is Devil's Ferris Wheel Altered Reality. Score is 22. That's an honorable mention for Jim McWilliam. Next one is ghostly train alt real alternative alternative it's alt reality can't talk anymore tonight. Score is 23. That's an award for Jim McWilliam. Next one is Desert Crossing. Score is 23. That's an award for myself. 
Next one is Around We Go. Score is 22. That's a honorable mention for Lee. Next one is This Way for a Spin. Score is 22. That's an honorable mention for Lee. Next one is Spin Cycle. <clears throat> Score is 22. That's an honorable mention for myself. Next one is The Midway. Score is 22. That is an honorable mention for Karen. Next one is Techno Power. Score is, score is excuse me, score is 23. That's an award for Karen. Next one is Hillsborough River Fun Boat. Score is 23. That's an award for Barry. Hold on a second. I want to make sure I got the right one here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, whoops, I didn't get the name of this one. This one is called Trailing Lights. Score is 23. That's an award for Sylvia. Next one is Approaching the Emerald Bridge. Score is 23. That's an award for Sylvia. Next one is Two Glasses. Score is 21. It's an honorable mention for Fong. Okay, that is all of our assigned. And now the next category is general. And for a guest, general can be anything. Uh, so it could be anything at all. So it's basically going to be judged on the merits of the individual picture um, and its, it, and its uh, impact and composition and all that good stuff. So next, this one is called Egrets at Play. Score is 23. That's a award for Sherry Halstead. Next one is Dying Flower.
Score is 23. That's a award for Helga. Next one is Resting on the Mangroves. Score is 22, and it's the award for Barry. Next one is Indy. Score is 24, that's an award for Helga. Next one is get to the point. Score is 24, that's an award for Jan. Next one is the stair. Score is 23, that's an award for Diana. Next one is Blue Ridge Moon. Score is 22, that's an honorable mention for Brian. Next one is Pumpkin Wagon Sunset. Score is 23, that's an award for Brian. Next one is Stroll Under a Natural Bridge. Score is 22, it's an honorable mention for Chuck. Next one is inside the reactor, alternate reality. And this is general. <laughs> Score is 23, that's an award for Jim McWilliam. Next one is Red Vine. Jack, you there? I submitted it. I'll do it again. Yeah. Make sure it's still on me personally. There you go. Got it this time.
Score is 22. It's an honorable mention for Steve Zinnick. Zimic. Next one is The Colors of the Earth. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Score is 24, that's a award for myself. Next one is, what is going on here? Hold on. There we go. Rainbow Springs Falls. Score is 23, it's an award for Steve. Next one is, I got big food. Score is 23, it's an award for Fong. Next one is don't shoot. <laughs> Score is 23, that's an award for Rod. Next one is snowy owl, owl rests on ice cliff. That's a long, hard one to say. <laughs> Award is, excuse me, the total is 24. It's an award for Lee Wynn. Next one is sometimes you gotta, you just gotta let your hair down. Score is 23, that's an award for Jan. Next one is Arapaca, Arapaca Library. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, Arapaca? Pika. Arapaca Library, sorry. Score is 23, that's an award for Sherry Halstead. Next one is Survivor. Score is 22, that's an award for Doug Halstead. Next one is Ferris Wheel. Score is 22, that's an honorable mention for Lee. Next one is Aging Gracefully. Score is 22, it's an honorable mention for Karen. Next one is no room at the top.
Score is 23. That's an award for Rod. Next one is Food Fight. Score is 24. That's an award for Sylvia. Next one is a bird's work is never done. Score is 24. That's an award for Diana. Next one is Beautiful Show. Score is 24. That's an award for Lee Wynn. Next one is Blueberry Flower Blooming. Score is 22. That's an honorable mention for Fong. And last one is Female Red Cardinal. Score is 23. That's an award for Sherry Kelsin Kelsinski. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> okay, guys, that's everything. Um, so let's take a five minute break and then we'll start the critiques. Let's be back here at 7.52. Okie doke. Hey, Lynn, it's Tom. Hey, I wanted to let you know that uh, you may get an email from me because uh, my submission email is stuck in my outbox. So uh, just like ignore it.
think everybody took off. <laughs> hey, Lynn, this is Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, you might see an email from me with submissions. That's because it got stuck in my outbox and I just connected to Wi-Fi. So Whoops. just uh, don't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even looking at my email right now. Okay, it might show up. It might not. I just, I just got the, the. I was traveling, so oh, weird okay. Wi-Fi. But oh, what we could do? Did you have assigned uh, images? I did, but don't worry about it. But don't we, worry. We, about could, it. we could do it as a makeup for next month. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. All right. We'll just move on with our lives. Okay. <laughs> cool. But I I just didn't want you to think I sent it like weirdly or something. So. Okay, it's uh, seven fifty-two. But Robert, Robert, have you are you back to your desk, back to your computer? There he is. There he is. Okay, give me one second here. Uh, Lynn. Yeah. Uh, you were saying that April we're going to Arcidia or something, someplace. Can you spell that? I'm sorry. For the field trip. Oh, the, for the outing? Yeah. It's Eureka Springs. It's E-U-R-E-K-A Springs. But I'll send, out a, I'll send out a notice about it before we do it. Okay, thank you. Right. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a cute little park over here. Uh, like I said, it's over off of I-4 and actually off of 301, right by I-4. Um, and it's, 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 a, it's a nice little park. I spent a lot of time there during the uh, pandemic. <laughs> Because it's it's actually about 10, 15 minutes away from my house. So while we're waiting on everybody to get situated, uh, does anyone know if the ground owl babies have started to show up yet? The burrowing owls? Uh, I don't know. Has anybody been down to Cape Coral? I went like a week or two ago. Yeah. And they're not out yet, but I know they're supposed to come out. Yeah, it's, you know, it kind of varies from year to year, unfortunately, because it makes it hard. But, you know, that's typical birds. <laughs> the uh, the uh, great horned owls up over in uh, Pinellas County are like a month ahead of where they were last year. So. You know, yeah, because I, you know, I have pictures, I have pictures from last year and and I've tried that with the burrowing owls as well. And, you know, sometimes you hit it right and sometimes you don't. Um, and I don't think there's a Facebook page for them because that, that's usually, you know, some of these birding places, it's great to be able to see what's, what's there at that, you know, at this point in time, a lot of times that, you know, the pages will tell you that I don't, I, I, go ahead. I have a friend that lives down there. I'll ask, I'll ask him. Okay. Just let us know Les. Uh huh. Okay. Lynn. Yeah. I, I sent that photo to you. In your okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and share my screen again and we'll get started with the critiques. And just for Nancy, and it looks like we lost Tomas. Uh, Nancy, what we're gonna be doing now is we, we call this kind of kind of critiques where we uh, basically kind of take a look at the image, uh, primarily Robert, if Jim was here, he would be doing it as well. I chime in and anybody is welcome to chime in if they have a comment, especially Jack, because he was the third judge. Um, but we, what we not only say what we think could have improved the image, but sometimes if we can, we show you what, 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 can, what can be done to the image to make it better. So, or at least in our opinion, <laughs> it's all opinion. <laughs> and, um, uh, who is that you were speaking to? Nancy, one of our guests. Uh, is, is Nancy on board? She's here. She just not, she doesn't have her camera on. Okay. Gotcha. All right.
Okay. You see, and you call it a friendly critique? Yeah, a kind critique. A kind critique. A kind critique. Uh, we're, we're, we, you know, well, the authors well, have to qualify that. J, j, uh, Robert is mean to us some, to certain people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, usually we deserve it. <laughs> okay, here we go. First one. And um, FYI, Jim was in a rush because he, he ended up having a job that started yesterday and went into today and tonight. <laughs> And so he quickly did the judging yesterday and he didn't have a chance to put any comments in there. So uh, we don't have any uh, words of wisdom from Jim this week so, or this month. So go ahead, Robert. Okay, on, on this particular image, our, our, our um, um, subject is supposed to be light trails, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, light trail. Is this Alan's? Yes, sir. Alan, yep. Alan. Alan. Uh, my major problem with this is composition of your vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, you're, that you're, you do have your red lines, lead, uh, light trails leading up to your, to your um, uh, subject, but your subject is so far away that I lose a sense of, of uh, what this is all about. Mm -hmm. I, uh, the, I enjoy the red light but it's out, it looks like to me that these cars are plowing through it. What makes you think that the cars are the subject? I thought it's about- I know, I didn't say that the cars are not the subject. The cars, the, the lines are leading up to the sub, I mean, to the cars. And the, the, the um, 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 what do we call them, the motion lines? What, what's the name of this? this um, light trails. Light trails, okay, gosh. Light trails are leading up to it. And I, when I talk about the composition of it, yes, I got a, I got a, a, a light trails. The light trails could have gone all the way through, but that wouldn't have given me some sort of context about the trail. And you're gonna find that to be repeated throughout uh, some of the other images that were submitted. So. So are you saying because they stopped, because they stopped at the red light, then that kind of messes up the like? No, no, no. I, I'm just I'm I'm uh, submitting that the cars. It, um, uh, could have been stopped sooner. Oh, okay. okay. So it's bigger in the frame. Got so it. you have what well, you why have. Why do you care that the cars are big? The whole point is the trails. I hear what you're saying, Brian. And, and why do we even need the cars then if, if that's the case? What I'm getting at is I'm getting at a storyline. Mm -hmm. Car trails, light trails, yes. The cars before the red light gives me a a foreground, a medium ground, and then the car, uh, the light becomes the background. You're saying you want the cars to be somewhere in here? Somewhere in that area right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I figured out how to use this. The... <laughs> I would, I would love zoom. to know. <laughs> oh, it's on Zoom. Okay, great. That is, that is my, that is my assessment. Brian, put in your assessment. Thank you. Very helpful. I'm very confused by that because I would think that the if the if it's light trails is the subject, that is the subject, and not. I mean, it, to me, if you put the cars in the middle of the photograph, then you have less light trails, and you you've only got light trails through half the photo. Uh, every photo, regardless of its its assignment. Uh, follows a line of a story or uh, something other than a literal interpretation. Well, when I looked at that photo, I didn't even see the cars. I thought it was a very nice, quaint little town with a nice little light trail going in front of it. And I thought it was very nice. And I didn't even notice the cars at all when I looked at the photo. Well, then are you saying that, oops, this doesn't like, so if what you're saying then is something like this, uh, would work better. <laughs> so that's what you're saying, Brian. Yeah. yeah that I, I don't know. If, uh, are you saying that silly of me? I think that's no. Silly. I'm not. I, I'm not saying that something no. is silly of you. I'm saying that it is without an object, uh, uh, any kind of. How do you know that's a light trail at that point? 
may I add some comments to this uh, soup? Oh, the, the, the soup, the soup that's been created. Um, <laughs> I, I've seen photographs of light trails, um, say from a, a building, and it's nothing but trails and lights going in different directions. And it paints a very interesting, intriguing picture of what light trails can be. <clears throat> but this is different. This is just one single solitary light trail. What's the story? What's the story here? Just a trail of lights is not enough to capture one's imagination. And as Robert is saying, if you put the car there, at least it gives you something to anchor that light trail. It tells a little bit more of a story other than a streak of light going across the yeah. I have seen. Uh, and in all truthfulness, I have seen photographs light trails where you don't see the cars you just see a bunch of light trails there are so many and it paints such a creative picture or photograph of all these lines that it's intriguing and that's a different that's a different situation that's my yeah. thoughts about that yeah. i would have to say that jack mm -hmm. did a much better job of explaining robert's point than robert <laughs> okay the other thing <laughs> Uh, uh, Alan, you were about to say something, right? Yeah. The, the other thing, you know, first of all, I, fortunately, this was the first photo that you looked at. But when I saw all the others in the category, I realized myself that the other photos, the light was much more filling the frame and much more dynamic. Yeah. In here, the light is very minimal by comparison. And and it needs something to give it a greater impact. I, and I can see that now after, after seeing, hearing your critique and also seeing the other photographs. So now, now look, thank you. Now, uh, just before you go, Lynn, let me tell you, one of the greatest things that's working in here is your color contrast. Right. It is so powerful. Yep. So yep. I, I, I'm just ask, asking thank for it. A different composition that's all yeah very very uh, well taken thank you oh my goodness i do not want to tackle this one this one is lee win uh okay uh you you can tackle it uh, no 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 I, I don't find anything objectionable about that there's a lots of movement uh trails are uh, at the bottom it's 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 very dynamic and lots, lots of things going on. I'm, I'm, I, I, there's something that's missing for me and I don't know what it is. I cannot figure it out. <laughs> See, I thought this one should have scored higher than it did. And I, it's got all of the elements, all of the right elements. The composition is really, really solid. But it's there's something missing for me, and I, I don't know what it is. I'm here I love it. it. I know. I, I love it, Robert. Oh, look <laughs> <out there. laughs> I, I do. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. I don't see anything missing. The 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 um the uh the balance of both sides are just just nice. I'm just there were no uh, distractions. There's no other no other things in there. Interrupting the light. I, I no, thought this was I agree with Leslie. I'm with you, Leslie. <laughs> Good. All right, all right. Now, I, I I told so I told you guys. I admitted it. Now, I don't know what it is that's missing for me, but there is something. Is it that your is. eyes don't have a chance to rest anywhere? <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> uh maybe maybe that might be what it is. Yeah. Um. I tell you, I, I, I'll tell you what, um, uh, Lee Wen, just, yeah. just at some point, change out the green. Change the green. Oh. Change the green. Okay. The, I think that's what it is. The green is so powerful that, and it's not quite working with the bottom portion of it. Uh, I, can, I I will try that, but but How's that's that? the lights they have. How's that? <laughs> no, it's not it's not the lights. It's the color of the lights. How's that? I just reduced the the, the saturation of the green. Now you're gonna change. I'm uh, not in the calibration. I actually, go to the uh, the H H S L. Yeah. H S L and and um and go straight to the green. Is that is that yellow? Go to yellow. Saturation. Yeah. yeah no hue. Hue. Oh, okay. And move the 
No, yeah, yeah, go away from that. Go get go more toward the reds. Good. Yeah, I can't go anywhere. Okay. And then go to the green, go to the green and do the same thing. Yes. Is that better? That's a lot better. I have I have all that green that was coming at me. Okay. Your your thoughts? Yeah, look nice. <laughs> Thank you. You know that it just I guess. Green is a color you don't like, Robert. I mean, I don't know that it makes that much of a difference, but I, I would, I, if if I could, I'd saturate it even more. Lynn, but you have the going green. after with those two colors. I could add a comment. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. I think it, it's a technically very, very nice shot. It's very symmetric. A lot of colors in it. It's very attractive in that aspect. But here's the thing, and I think this is what was missing for me. Predictable. I mean, it's a nice spinning top or a nice spinning ride. What else is there? To me, to me it kind of looked like a spaceship. <laughs> yes, but it did not enough. At first, when I saw the street down in the middle, uh, going down right there in the middle, I thought, wow, it, it looks like a... Uh, uh, an alien saucer. Maybe if it had been tilted, offered a little tension and something less symmetric. But it's just, I think, it, as Robert says, it's missing an element. And that element is an unpredictable interpretation of the thing. Yes, it's a spinning top or a spinning ride. Beautiful colors. Very well done. But the composition or the the uh, excitement of looking at the photograph is very predictable. See, and I thought with all those colors and everything in there made it unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, so everybody, everybody has an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, yeah. this thing doesn't go up or down. It was just turning around. Yeah. They, they don't tilt it anything. This one just spin. <laughs> and the but, bottom but, has other lights. But you could have, you could have tilted it. And <laughs> it would have looked like a rocket ship or a space uh, flying saucer. <laughs> anyway, we have tilted it. I've got a question. What uh, what lens was this taken with? Twenty eight millimeter. Twenty eight millimeter. Yep. Twenty eight. Okay. On a, on a uh, tripod. It's on okay. The tripod. Yeah. I Just gonna see if I could. No, that's not gonna work. All right, let's move on. Uh, Chuck. Yeah. The people are much more interesting, in a sense, to draw the attention than the actual light itself. Now, why do I say that? Our eyes are naturally drawn toward humans. And words. And words. <laughs> yeah, so... We okay. can exit and zero gravity. I don't know if we could. Give it more, 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 go into it. Go into it, yeah. There's your, tilted, we're talking. There's your tilted spaceship. Now we're talking. <laughs> okay, I got it now. I was telling too much of a story. Yeah, it was just. Yeah. yeah it, yeah, it's too. I mean, considering the, if it was a, if the the assignment was a story about you know a I don't know it was just yeah it's there's just is it a is it a ride or is it a roulette wheel what is it yeah so, yeah is it a flying saucer <laughs> yeah I, the, 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 I I didn't need the people in there and the other stuff to go along with it but that right there is a lot uh, tap tap letter F on me for me on that one just so I can get a full screen of that. So that becomes much more interesting. Yeah. Well, I think I think it can be tweaked. Can you tweak? Can, go back to the um, yeah to the uh, cropping tool. Say what? The cropping tool. Oh, cropping tool. So pull it down just a little bit so there's more room underneath that green. Yeah. Try yeah. not to. I don't want to show the bottom though. That's the issue. Right. I understand. Yeah. And get rid of that corner, the lower left corner. Get rid of that. That's what I'm trying to do, and it's hard at this at this angle. 
So that's about the best I can get. Yeah. And that, and then that portion over there, Brian, that you're talking about, I can clone these other pieces in to make it longer. Yeah. Well, you could take it into Photoshop and stretch it. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> With a tra transform, retransform. Yeah, that's that's a really nice one, uh, Chuck. Once you once you do all the things that we suggested and go back to school and learn how to do this kind of stuff instead of, instead of learning your black belt karate that you're gonna beat me over the head of it. Okay, next. What's your house number again? <laughs> this one is also Chuck's. Yeah, Chuck. Uh, uh, lots of emotion, but I, I'm not. The the flags become more of the story than the trail itself. And that's not bad, it's a beautiful image. And I, I, I enjoy the fact that you, the flags are incorporated in there. Um, but I, I have to say that um, this was the highest scoring image. This, it was the first uh, award of the evening and I had enjoyed some of the other ones more than I enjoyed this one. And great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take away from that. <laughs> do not, Brian. I do not take away from that. I think, I mean, the only thing I can think of is there's just a little bit, I would get rid of this. I know you're trying to make it a little more even, but that red kind of pulls my eye over there, where this kind of keeps the red and keeps me in going around and around in circles. So I, you know, stretch out these corners as well to get rid of the trees and this red corner. You can do that in Photoshop again with tree free transform. So. Gotcha. Was that Billy Graham? Not Billy Graham. Uh, will it go around in circles? Will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? <laughs> I don't know. Next. Billy Preston. Well, Preston. We have, we have 40, hey, guys, we have 47 of these to go through. Let's I, I get it. I get it. Uh, <laughs> let's crop this image. Yep. And then you need to, this is Sherry yeah. Kelsinski. Sherry, uh -huh. great, great thing here. We just need to get rid of all this stuff in the background that's distracting from this beautiful fire thingy. I think I would straighten it out a little bit too. Yes. Any comments, Sherry? Sherry has left the building. No, I'm here. No, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, you've got a little bit too much sky and a little bit too much foreground. And like I said, just clone this, these trees out here in the background uh, because okay. your eye kind of goes over here. And I would also get rid of this little bitty light right here. Because again, okay. the light, these things are going to pull your eye away from this really cool design that's going on here. How good is your photo Photoshop, Jerry? I'm pretty good. Yeah. I'm All right. Okay. The sky on the right hand side. Yeah. Flip it over to the left hand side as well. Okay. Yeah, just copy it over there. And it's a little it, I don't know. I think I I it I I straightened it out, but I think I um made it the, the horizon not straight. There we go. That's better. So that's interesting the way that light looks. Yeah. We, yeah. we should do some of that someday. It was so much fun. Oh, let me do one more thing to that. Just to show you you have several photographs in here. Uh, do me one more crop. And make it, I want you to make it a um, come all the way in to the toward the middle. All right, come down from the from the take out. Uh, yeah, that's good. Go back to the right just slightly. Come in from the left hand side and take out the top uh, that the lighter portion. I'm saying you have several compositions here. Come down, come down more over past that, just past that. Come, yeah, just yeah, now bring the bottom portion down into that light. Great, enter and return. Yeah, that's really cool. That's interesting. Yeah, that is very interesting. <laughs> yeah. It looks like of... like raindrops of light. Yeah, <laughs> changes the whole composition. Yeah, yes. for sure. Yeah. As I mentioned, Much you have several in here. Much what is this light? How to make this light? done with uh, steel wool and a whisk. And we should do that someday. It was so much fun. Yeah. Mm. You just want to burn anybody up. <laughs> well, you can use light, you know, colored yeah. lights or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, there's a it lot was of, fun. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to do these things. There's, you know, tubes and yeah. stuff that does this. This, this, is, this is basically sparks, so. 
I, I just have to say this crop solves a lot of the problems I saw with the original. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. Oh, so Brian agrees with me. Gosh. Oh, I, wow. I was going out of my way to make up for the disagreements earlier to show you an <laughs> objective. Yeah. This one again, too much Same thing. stuff. I think I would get rid of that too. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, either, yeah, I think if actually putting it off center kind of makes it better, I think. And you've given it somewhat of a human element in there. Yeah, with the people. So that, that the sparks in that wheel. <laughs> yeah. So Chuck, don't get mad because I said to put it in a human element in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep your notes, that's all. Yeah. He's he's taking score. I know. <laughs> how many how many karate chops you're gonna get? <laughs> yeah, from Chuck, it only take one. Much <laughs> <laughs> chops kicks are better. <laughs> all right, next one. Uh Barry. Is this berries? Yes, berries. That's me. Where's the bus? That's exactly my point. <laughs> it's disappeared. <laughs> now, now, Brian, going back to your earlier statement about all you see are the trails. Uh, so I'm missing the bus on this one. Uh, def I mean, the title is the problem, not the photo. But, and right. I think he needs to get rid of that sign. That's pretty distracting to me. On the very left side in the middle there, that street sign. I went to that. That's the, not, it's not too bad because there's you can't see the words. Yeah. At the very least, I think he should have taken the light down on that. Yeah, it's just I'm just now I put a, a, a linear gradient on there just to pull down the this is way too bright here. Pull it out a lot. The, you probably should pull it even up more. Because then, then your light trails are much more prominent. I see. Okay. Yeah, I knew this was uh, not a strong composition. Yeah. But it's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're trying. <laughs> next, next time, uh, Barry, show up on time so you can catch that bus. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I was, I was hoping for, I was hoping for star trails, Barry. <laughs> All right, this one. Uh, I'm not sure. Is this Rod? This is yes. Rod. Okay. Rod, tell me something. Yes, uh, going back to what Jack said, very predictable. Uh, very, very nicely done, but very predictable. G where's my wow factor in this one? It's fireworks. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, I think it looks like a, a exotic flower. Yeah. Uh, uh, crop it, crop it in. About uh, now, I'm I'm not uh, rather not changing your image. I'm just taking a look at it at a, at a thought. Go, go all the way into the into the end. Yes, all on all all sides. Now you can come you can come out a little bit, just a little bit on the ends. Um. And down, down more at the bottom. Down, down. Yes. There we go. And uh, F. As I mentioned, I was just checking because I I don't really need to see the edges of it for me, and that's that's simply a personal thing for me, and it's not not really a critique, Rod. So I want you to make sure you understand that. Well, I like. The original way it was presented. Yes, I, I don't like it would. crop like that. I knew you would. <laughs> I just, I, 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 give me more. What do you want? I like a no, not not that. Is it uh, several hundred of these things? <laughs> In other words, you wanted the grand finale, not. Oh, you want? Finale. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have some of those in my library. Yeah. 
You <laughs> need more. Yes. Okay. All right. Next. Okay. This is uh, Jim McWilliam. Hey, Jim, are you still here? Oh, Jim has left the building. I was going to ask him, what was that glow around that? It, this one needs cropping, by the way. And what's, what's the, uh, why is it flat on the edge? Well, it's alter reality. So with him, you know. Oh, he's okay. Probably, yeah, all right. It's now, probably but multiple I don't need, layers. Yeah, I don't need that thing in there, though. No matter what you do, I still don't need that thing in there. Okay. No, where do you? Uh, no, yeah, just just that. There you go. You've anchored it. Yeah. And and in that instance, I don't need the red on the on the upper left either, because that's strong enough by itself. Yeah. I could you could paint that out. Right, and a little more contrast in there. Of course, you already every everyone always always knows that. Yeah. That red's become redder. And by the way, uh, folk, just just as a side note, when you add contrast, you change color. Contrast is color. Even though it's uh, uh, a greater distance of lights to dark, it also adds color. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing. Oops. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are higher, yeah, no. <laughs> Fine, it's flirting with me. <laughs> <And China>. Sorry. <laughs> if you're going to talk to your husband, uh, we don't want to know what you're saying to him, Fong. You better beat yourself. <laughs> uh, let me put this back the way it was. Okay. Next. Yeah, give me give me a little bit off the left hand side. Your thoughts, Jack? You agree? I don't, disagree? don't need this light. I don't need it at all. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Just a little bit off the bottom. Oops, I didn't take enough off the side there. And I don't need that pole. That's great. <laughs> Alter reality, right? Yes. <laughs> Good. A bit more contrast in there as well. I was I was headed there. There you go. <laughs> Very nicely done. That's also Jim. Yeah. All right, next. Let me have it. I, I don't, I, I just wish in this case, the composition is exquisite. The leading red, the trails, the nine, the whole thing that leads all the way off into the distance. I probably would take a little bit off the top where it goes into that netherland. Um, Up here? Yeah. Just oh. not, it, it, I no no go back up go back up I come back down just just slightly above that red that red at the top okay just slightly above that there now a little bit more let's see it yeah okay that's got it a little bit more that's it right there it was just a tiny amount from that that what it was happening out in the Netherlands there okay well that's actually going back up the mountain <laughs> right Jack you see anything different no I um uh, uh, found that. Uh, very interesting, um, and I thought the title fit the composition quite well. It was fascinating. Yeah, and uh, a, a lot of tension in this one. <laughs> Zigzags. And uh, I, I thought this looks like a, a Mars rover on uh, <laughs> I handed up. But anyway, it's quite interesting. Yes, that that whole place is weird looking, <laughs> and it's even uh, weird at night. Even weirder at night. You were you were able to capture it. No, thank you. Reset. Okay, next one. This is um, Lee. It's too bright. Go ahead, go ahead, guys. Talk. No, I want I want to take some off the left and right side. I want to make this That's iconic. Right. Yeah, more iconic than that. Come up from the bottom as well. We need rid of the trash. Yeah, I don't need the trash in here. 
you know, you can leave the top. Leave the top. The top is going to be balanced. Yes. Much more than that line right there. I think what he was trying to do is there's, there's, this thing has got swings on it. Yes. And he was trying to leave the swings in the picture. So that's. Uh, don't need them. Don't need them because you can't see them. No, that's right. Don't need them. I wish he would. He, he's, he was here to answer that question on the next one. Is Lee still, he's, he's not here anymore? I'm still here. Oh, he's still here? Okay. I'm still here. Um, but I'm still here. <laughs> okay. I need, I need to know more about the next one. So you're done with this one, Robert? I'm done with that one, yeah. Where is the motion in here? Right here. That this, in the this, back. This thing is spinning. It was spinning. What what was the assignment? Light trails. Light trail. There's light trails right there. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm having a hard time getting that one. A very hard yeah, time. It was, I don't know. It was spinning though. It, there are light trails. You know, I, I I see them spinning. I see that it is a a a um spinner, but the 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 um, composition leads that that mask on the right hand side of the mask that's leading into it much more of a, a subject than the actual re the receiver of the the trail of the the um. Yeah. Okay, I just like the leading line. To it. How about that? Is what I, I was going for. Cut off the side of it. Is that better? Uh, it, it, you took off the top and the bottom. You got to, if you're going to do that, then leave me with a little more on the left. I don't have any more on the left. You have no more on the left. So I don't have no more on the left. So it's it's already too tight in there. Yeah, right here. Uh, click on that on on that 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 spinner that top to enlarge it. See, so yeah, I find very little movement in there. So this leads me to a question that I had when I was looking at photos. What is the real difference between, uh, you know, the, the light, the trailing lights or whatever versus just plain motion blur? Because, like, I was thinking about it and I was thinking, well, motion blur is light, right? So, right. Yeah. <laughs> is well, there, are there any thoughts on that? I was just, this leads me to that question. Which leads me to the question, that same thing with this, this photograph, is that I, I don't see any kind of light that's, that's leading me into this photograph. I see uh, very dominant objects, but no real light that's leading me. Whereas the, our, our um, spinning uh, Lee Wren's top, there was a whole bunch of light that's, 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 going in and out. But I don't get it here. And Lee, yes, you can poison my next lobster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll uh, move it on. That's now here here we have a really nice example of that that um that light trail. And you and I assume you can see that it's moving because of the yes. Okay. Whose image is this one? Mine. Oh, what? Well, you know, I'm glad you told me. Because <laughs> all of the things that, and and Barry makes a really good good observation as far as the the motion, movement, and the trail itself. So I got light coming in and out moving in and out and I have a stationary object in, in the center there that's letting me know that light is the, the that there's movement but at the same time uh, the light going I mean the the colors going left right up and down uh, and all of that movement gives me trails I had thought about leaving this you know taking cutting this off but then I thought it would make it too too I don't know weird because uh, I can I can live with it with that I thought it it anchored it yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. All right, let's head to the next one. 
this is Karen's and she's not here tonight, but she wanted to definitely have comments. She uh, make sure she wanted to make sure I recorded it so she would hear what we had to say. What are your thoughts on that, Jack? Well, uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a blurred shot. It's what it is. I, 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 I don't go think ahead, it meets the criteria of the assignment. I don't think it's really light trails. I think it's more like Jack says blurred. It's motion blur. That's it. That's I see. Yeah. yeah. It's more motion blur. And Barry, do you see that? You see that here? No, this is a, basically an ICM that she did. Yeah, but I was asking Barry, did, did he see it here? Barry left, he left the building? Uh, was do, muted. Do, I, do I see what? Do you see that this is motion blur as opposed to light trails? I think that, okay. I think it was Tom that was asking that question. Tom, oh, it was Tom? I thought it was Barry. No. <laughs> Tom? Uh, yeah, it was me. Okay, do you see it here? The the motion, the, this is a camera movement as opposed to a light trail. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess, I don't know. I guess I just thought that one of the ideas was to think of like, light doesn't have to be like a, it doesn't have to be like an actual like electronic light or whatever you want to call it, incandescent light or moving it. Like, for example, some of the photos I was thinking about doing were, were like heavy motion blur to show uh, movement around like buildings and monuments and stuff, right? And I was thinking like, well, well that is trailing light, right? Because everything's light, but then I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, Maybe I, I, I think the intent was light source trails. Perhaps that's a better name for it. Probably, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I feel like in application, people think of that as two different things, but like from a fundamental perspective of it, because like I had some movement where I, I did slow shutter speed and then I hit it with a flash to freeze it. You uh -huh. know? So you got, obviously it's, it's moving light that's, part of your photo but i you know i just i don't know i, I didn't end up submitting anything because my email didn't connect on on traveling wi-fi so it was a moot point for me but no just, you can also submit the after the fact no, I, I already talked to lynn about it but uh the point being like i just as a as a point of like understanding like the the art i was just thinking about that so uh just for uh, everyone else based on what tom just said um there is in at least with us, there is no right or wrong. There's merely interpretation. And my comments or our comments are, are leaning toward, is this more of in line of what we would expect to see? Or is this something completely different than that we've never seen before? And uh, Jim McWilliams' uh, movement of the train, which was a composite, it showed movement and trailings of light at the same time. They were, they were composited together. Yeah. Whereas in Karen's, and yes, you have you have movement, you have movement in Karen's, but it's, it's camera movement. Is it right, wrong, or different? It scored quite well because the movement itself, the ICM, is a very interesting photograph. But would it would you say that this is light trails in its purest form? Probably not. Sure. I mean, technically. All photography is light. That's where Tom's coming yeah. from, I think. So. Yeah. And, it, and it doesn't mean that it's not going to score well. Yeah. It just means that how the, um, a majority of people will interpret it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not trying to be pedantic, but I was just trying to figure out, for example, I have some protest photos where certain signs were stable and all the people walking around it were not. And I was, and I was like, well, this is, these really are trails of light that like enhance the image through showing movement. And then I have light trail photos where there's planes flying over things, which really is just another way to show the movement. So I was just, anyway. I, yeah, I'll submit them next time. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate the discussion. Ooh, you know this what? what I want. Is where, as well. I just want to take off the thing at the bottom. Is that what you wanted to do? Yep. 
sure where, but right there, maybe. Yes. A lot more interesting. It's yeah, it's it's hard when you've got all those people and things in front of the picture, but mm. yeah, that's one of the biggest problems with the fair is that just there's just so much stuff in your way. So well, if you can't get the shot you you if you can't get the shot you want, make sure you get the shot you need. Yeah. I mean, what we were doing when we were there was walking up usually to the side. And that way, where there's a lot of these have like a fence around them, we would walk up to the fence and get as close as we could and then, you know, go from there. So that way the people weren't in the way. It's not always right. possible. Some of these, some of these rides are pretty surrounded by people though. Give me one more crop on this, just for the, the sake of argument. Come all the way up, get rid of the sign that's on, uh, come in from, so from your, uh, come in from your uh, right side inward. Keep coming, keep coming, just past the sign. Just uh, go slightly in, in a little bit more. All right, now come down, just, just to the top of that, that yes, right there, give me that. Yeah. And I'm, I'm much more um, pleased with the movement of that. Right. I mean, there is this thing over here, but it's not as prominent as some of the other yeah. stuff in the front. Uh, is this berries? This is berries again. Yep. Berries. Yes. And then give me more black in there. Yeah, more black. Ah, oh, Barry, look at that light. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. yeah, just, yeah, you just, cropping is your friend. <laughs> I'd just like to see a little bit of more sky above the site building, though. Agree. Okay. It's a little tight up there. Yeah, it's okay. Little but look at that, look at that, that water now singing. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you have all this extra out here, just it just takes the, all this light away over here, and all this stuff going on over here takes away from what the subject is, <laughs> light trail. So okay, yeah, just get rid of all yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice. Oh, Sylvia. Mm -hmm. Nice, um, nicely done. Thank you. I just thought it needed a little bit, of, little contrast, maybe, and a little. There we go. Yes. How did you how did how did you suspend yourself above the cars there? <laughs> well, I will tell you that this is very much an illusion, and I didn't. I maybe should have put altered reality, although it came straight from the camera. But I was actually stand. That is the river in the center, not a highway, and I was standing on the river walk, going shooting across to the other side. And I had my camera on the tripod and a, a telephoto lens that had a switch to move the telephoto. And I started it out with wide angle and hit the shutter button. And as soon as the, it started, I hit the switch to move the, the telephoto lens forward to the, all the way. And, that, and it creates that effect, which I had seen that before which someone else had done it and I had, all, I had wanted to try it and I went out there thinking I might get some regular light trails but there was nothing on the river everything was you know there was nothing moving fast so so maybe I should have put it as altered reality I apologize why 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 would you no. do so no no that's that's, that's a great shot that's a great job and when I looked at it, I thought, my God, that looks like a highway. <laughs> uh, I don't think you should have put it in ultra reality. I do think that I understand this is your first time going to a cannabis shop. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or that, too. <laughs> well, and this, one, this one's good, but this one's even better. This? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because you've got this one has got because it's got the, the lights going in every almost every direction to yeah, certain extent. Yeah. That was looking, you can see the river walk, and that's that bridge was still green for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, they so had I the just bridge. really think it again dark oh, enough. Darker. Yeah, I like that. I yeah. like that. Well, I, I, black's a little blacker so that you don't see the bridge, you know, the, the railing as much. Yeah. 
it was a lot of fun. I, I, I did many, many shots and some of them were real bust, but some of them actually <laughs> turned out yeah. pretty well. Yeah. It's, you know, it's one of those creative things you can do with, you know, and it doesn't take any, any extra equipment, just, you know, moving your lens, basically. That's all and, I was, and I was lucky because that lens, I didn't have to turn the barrel. Yeah. It has a switch. And also the telephoto part is internal. It doesn't actually physically move out. So I think it gave a smoother yeah. appearance than if I'd had to turn the barrel of the lens. But anyway. I understand the cannabis shop, shop help too. Well. <laughs> All right, last but not least in the assigned. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, one thing there, uh, Fong, <laughs> Fong, are you there? You're not she's there. Muted. She's muted, she's up there. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, uh, you see the shirt he's wearing? Uh, in right. other words, his shirt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, t-shirt on the hood. Yeah, uh, ask him, uh, ask him to change the t-shirt. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's too bright. Yeah. And yeah. you see how it goes. The, the part of the building behind them is going right yeah. into the. Yeah. Yeah. So when right. you're doing this kind of stuff, uh, do it again. I like to see you do it with. Um, Without the house in the background, more to, to the, over in the right hand side in the dark area, and have, oh, have okay. your wear dark clothes. Yep. Okay. And a, and yes. A, and a black hood, and just make him all so you can't see him. <laughs> yes, yeah, this is, I want to do something on the twilight, but it's raining, no good weather. I want to do downtown. So rainy, I said Tuesday night and uh, tomorrow last day. So I asked my husband to uh, do something. <laughs> needs a little bit of foreground in front of the feet too. Yeah. Well, he just needs uh, to be over here. <laughs> yeah, just move him over on the, on the grass here. Uh, the grass and be with the trees behind him. Okay, uh, got it. Okay? All right. Okay. All right, moving on to general. Library. Uh, All right, we got 27 of these. We need to roll. Okay. Uh, Sherry, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Sherry, uh, in, in larger to the, that, that first image, I mean, well, the first bird, I'm not seeing sharpness there. Why? Oh. No, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like the, sh the, the focus is more like here on the plants than it is on the bird. Right. The, the eyes are definitely not in focus. So, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I just shot it a while ago. So yeah, <laughs> it's a, it's a cool uh, act. You know, at least it is a great behavior though with between the birds that got you know they're not just sitting there they're doing something. Yeah, exactly. It looks like the one is trying to eat the other one. <laughs> yeah. Not not too different from what humans do when they yeah. have their kids. <laughs> and my brothers used to beat me up all the time. Yeah. <laughs> In their in their mind. Yeah, in their mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Helga, so just Helga, just pull me. I, I'm not sure why my composition is so far off to the left. She was uh, trying the, to create tension. Tension is a little much tension. The reason why is because of the stem itself. The stem itself is the lead in. And if it's a lead in, you want to give it some room to breathe as well. So where, you, how far over did it need to be like here? About right where you are, yes, yes. Yeah. So you got to consider all of the elements. We're not so. hearing, she's not, she's not saying anything. I, I get it. <laughs> okay, next. Um, this is, um, this is Barry's. Barry, you know what's bothering me about this photograph? I know you don't know, but can you, can you guess? Uh, the white spot on the bird? No. no. It's the leaf behind him. No, not that one. This one. Yes. You see that competition of how close it is to the bird's head as far as detail? Yep. yep. And which then makes it makes it as though it's it's part of the bird. Oh, yes, uh, I see. I see. This one right here. So you could, yeah, you could probably like either, it's kind of hard to clone it out. Although, 
I'm just getting rid of the, by the edges would do it. How about that? It's better, but it's, you, know, the, you got the white portions and, and that, that sharp edge yeah. in the back of it. Yeah, you know, you but, still would need to try to do something like, I don't know, brush, I don't know. Probably the best thing to do would be just get rid of it in Photoshop. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this is going to help it, but we can try. Okay, yeah, I didn't even see that. I mean, yeah, it just makes it look worse. So, yeah, I mean, at the very least, you could, you know, back, uh, uh, the, that was my first thing. It was just, it, it, everything is kind of the same shade. Mm -hmm. So basically by using the new masking tools, I selected the subject and, and then went back and, you know, and darkened that background and that makes the bird stand out big time. Yeah. So, Very nice. And, and, and it did a pretty good job considering the fact that there's a lot of stuff here in the front that's on the same plane. Because usually the masking, you know, the select subject has a hard time with all this other little stuff that's on the same plane as your subject. But it did a pretty good job that time. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Robert? Mm -mm. This is beautiful. <laughs> I would have loved to seen Helga challenge herself and put put this black on black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, serious? It's not black and white, though. No, I'm, I, no, the eyes tell me it's not black and white. I was saying the black background on black with with then the eyes would just totally stand out. The 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 bird hat. I mean, the dog has an attitude about that's really nice and it's projecting its its vulnerability. But I, I, I think that black on black would have been a better challenge. Not to say that this is uh, this that you have right now is not great. It is, but black on black, even gray. Uh, uh, yeah, I had it. It shot on light gray, but yeah. um, the gray just didn't look right. So, yeah. see how dark. I mean, I can. I've made it somewhat. I mean, yeah. you, can, you can see the gray uh, in the back, but just like. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, go ahead. Yeah, and I, and in give me give me add, yeah a lot of black in there. Yeah, a black with that texture becomes yeah. it's it, it's again another thought. It's not yeah. it's not to take away from what you had. It's just it's much more of a challenge to do. Yeah. Oh I mean, yeah. I actually kind of like this better because it's not. I, I do too. I think this is a better shot. Yeah. It's pretty, oh. it's really pretty because then yes, because with the other, with the white background, Helga, it, your, your eye is overwhelmed by all that white and you almost don't even notice the eye. Here you notice that eye, bam, just like that, especially with this nice lighting around the rim of his head. Obviously you'd have to kind of lighten up the body a little bit here too, but yeah, this just, is beautiful. Just for the sake of argument, give it a vignette. And I know we don't normally do the vignette, but I want you to overemphasize the vignette in order to, um, in order to to um, uh, make the point about the background. And uh, not so roundish. <laughs> uh, I should get rid of that, I get, get rid of it completely. And do do it the other way, do the effects. What? Do it do the effects. Oh, effects down at the bottom. I like priority at the bottom. I don't even use these anymore. Yeah. I want you to go to it just for the because it's it's, it's just it, the only thing about this is it's it's gonna simplify what I'm I'm thinking. It's highlight priority all the way down at the bottom. I don't even not have quite it. up. You don't have it open. Maybe. Pattern, there it is. Yeah, just bring yeah. it down. Not that much, not that much, not that much. It'll it'll just be like a simple back off at about about 15 or so. Uh yeah, somewhere in there. That's what I'm talking about. Slide the midpoint all the way over, it'll make it even a little more. <clears throat> so the idea is what I'm getting at is, is to do black. When you do black on black, the eyes really, really, really stand out when you do that. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. It's beautiful. John, really pretty. So, you know, go from here to here. Yeah, yeah. They're both nice, but sort yeah. of whichever preference, you know. 
two for the price of one. There you go. Yeah. Never that whatever the client likes best. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jan. She's working on her titles, Gaban. She did a good job on the titles. This <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> Actually, I was going to tell you guys at the conference uh, over the weekend at, out of Chicago. One, of, they had they have all these instructors, but on on Saturday night they have what's called a ten, attendee takeover, and they brought in ten attendees who had seven minutes to present something to us that you know we thought would be. And they did a great job, by the way. These are not people that are instructors. These are just you know photographers that had something they wanted to talk about. And one of the guys was a writer and he talked about, his seven minutes was about titles and it was uh, actually really good. He, all he talked about, he had, he had pictures, but he, he talked about how, you know, titling the, the, the picture, uh, you know, made a big difference. And it brought to mind something that Colleen, I think she mentioned it when she was, she spoke to us, you know, the two times. It's a lot of times she, um, she makes a title before she takes the picture. And that, one of the uh, sessions that I had at Death Valley, Colleen was the instructor and we were out as a brisky point and she's running around, there were 10 of us out there and there was another instructor as well. And they're running around saying, what's the title of the picture you're seeing? And she looked, you just have to tell her what the title was. And uh, I came up with three actually pretty good ones, which I thought was kind of funny um, that quickly. And you know, those are, the, and every time I look at them, I think of that, those, those titles as well. So FYI, go ahead. Back to well, the paper. <laughs> can. Yep. Yeah, interesting way of seeing. <laughs> okay, is that a good well, thing? That's a great thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, uh, this, this one also, I think, has some potential. Just this dead stuff. I like that too. <laughs> you know. <laughs> One of the things that's great, it, 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 we talk about in advertising when you shoot, uh, when you shoot advertising, you shoot for three or four different compositions all in one. And this is one of those where you have several compositions mm -hmm. and yeah. that becomes a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even, yeah. even something as simple as this sounds right. like crazy. I'm cutting mm -hmm. most of the picture away, but something like right. that is actually yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, that I'm that exactly. same thing. Yeah. 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 So yeah. there's there's a lot of there's a lot of possibilities on this image here. So cool. yeah, this is one of those ones you can use as a bus wrap and then at the same time use it on the side of a building. Yep. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, this is Diana. She's not here, but she wanted to, uh, she said listen to the recording. All right. I wanted to open up the eyes. Yeah, that was the first thing. Number one rule with animals is the eyes have got to have some light in them. And these do not. <laughs> yes, number one. Yeah, open up those eyes. Let's see if we can. They might. They might be too dark. And do, I didn't even see the bird until I. Oh, I just expanded this here. Yeah. If you if you lighten up the eyes, you'll see the bird. Yeah. There's another bird, and I think that. Yeah. One there's a bird on his back too. I saw that one. I, I thought the title was poor because it didn't make any mention of the birds in it. You know what is it? Something like. Uh, oh yeah, the stare. But I think the most interesting part about this photo is the birds on the zebra. Yeah, this and this, the birds actually could have been highlighted too. I mean, that's one of these things you can do. Let's uh, close this and expand this again. Is that light enough for the eye for you, Robert? I, I can go a little lighter in the brown area, but that'd be a brush to do that. Uh, brush need, need to do the brush. I mean, look, I can just quickly do it. That's a little better. It's yeah, gonna, that's yeah, much better. Have the yeah. eye too much, but you guys yeah, get that's, it. A, that's much better. And yeah. I do it on the other side as well. Yeah. So, but that would be me. Yeah, just light up the eyes. You've got to, you know, ideally with uh, animals or people, you want to see uh, a catch light. But at the very least, this now you could see that it's not just a black hole. Correct. What I was going to mention is these birds are a little too dark too. And I would just take, I'm doing this quickly, obviously, but just do a quick, um, brighten them up a little bit so they're not quite so, you know, not there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even this one, this one sort of blended into the background. 
So we could put, put a little bit of a, even just a brush him, brush him and just exposure, get him a, a little brighter too. So that way you can actually, oops, you can actually see the birds now and they're, well, this one's still hard to see because of where he's at, mm -hmm. but that one obviously is much more obvious than, than it was before. So before and after. So it's just subtle. The whole thing is really subtle, but that's all it takes is just a little bit of brightening up in certain spots. So, anything else? Nope, we're good there. All right, this one. Uh, uh, Brian, I'm gonna tell you, I thought your title was, uh, was not quite there. All right. Uh, you said it's, it's um, Blue Ridge Moon. And the only thing that I'm missing is the Blue Ridge. Okay, that again. Well, I'm just trying to tell the viewer where this is, and that's where it is. It's, an, it's taken by the Blue Ridge Parkway, so that was why I did that. Well, my, my, my point being is that that looks like it's anywhere. Yeah, which is why I felt like I should give it some location. But so what do you think would be a good title for this? Um, uh, a moon over trees. Or moon, moon rise or moon set or, um, you know, something that doesn't, you know, because the location is not, we don't need to know. We can't. Unless there are mountains, that are, uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains in the background. Yeah. Uh, to indicate that, then th as I mentioned, this could be anywhere. So the, the location is not relevant to the okay. fact that there's a moon. I got the same critique last week. I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> last month, I meant. You know what, Brian? Uh, yeah. At some point, when you hit your head up against the, the wall enough, you'll get a headache. You know what that means. You're going to want some relief. All right. Right. And the left side. Left side. And if you're going to do it, open up that flag yeah. more. And give it, uh, you, did you give us some warmth? Yep. Okay, great. So I moved this one up in the rotate, rotation after last month. I mentioned that I was going to have a, remember you said that this was a, it was the one I did that I called Blue Ridge Sunset. And you said, well, where's the Blue Ridge Mountains? And I said, well, I had a photo in the same place with a, you know, a foreground interest image in this item of interest, and this is the one. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It just, it just need to, it's just too dark. Now, you notice you did not name it Blue Ridge. No, I didn't. <laughs> right. This was perfect. The title on this one was good. Yeah. See, look at the difference between here and here. Now, all of a sudden, you can see the pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, okay. And you know the sunset's beautiful, but the, the subject here is, I would say, is more this adds to it, but this is your primary subject here. All right, do me one more, one more thing right here. I want you to grab a uh, brush and uh, with the brush, uh, I want you to uh, uh, go down to your color and add a color of orange in there. Add on your, uh, yeah, on your brush. Go go down, down a little bit further. No, uh, down further. Oh, no, actually, it's up at the top. <laughs> no, no, not there. I'm talking about in your brush. Uh, yeah. it, there's a color. Come down, come down, down, down into, the, into the adjustment area. Into the adjustment area. Yeah, keep going until you see um, a, a little box that says color. It's all, I think it's at the bottom. There it is. Click on that. Find some orange. 
the, the red is orange, that's more pink. Uh, higher up and over to the right. A little bit more up. Good, now paint, paint the pumpkins. And right, what's your flow on that? 100%. 100%. All right, uh, now add some saturation to that. Because what I'm, what I'm hoping to do is match as close as I can the orange of the pumpkins with the orange, there we go. There we go. There with go. The, the sky. Yep. All right, very yeah, good feedback. Better. I definitely see the improvement. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Brian, you talked about me badly in the beginning, but then you lap up whatever I say at the end. Okay, I'm brilliant. <laughs> you know, and you can, you can actually even lighten up the tractor just a little bit too, it's a little dark. Yeah, so uh, I will shut my mouth at this point, Brian, I made my point. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Chuck. Yeah. We had a composition problem. Tell me what it is. I entered it. <laughs> <laughs> I broke one of my cardinal rules, putting things in at the last minute. Yeah, uh, you can come up from the bottom uh, so that I don't have that. Uh, keep coming until you get, the, get, get past that break there. Okay. Now, um, in this composition, I'm sure you had an opportunity to shoot several shots of this. Yes. All right. Now, Right now, you're, yeah, Jack mentioned it very early on. He was saying something about the obvious. Mm -hmm. And then the, there's the thing called the not so obvious. The obvious is where you, you place your subject. The not so obvious would have been that leading line and your subject is at the end of this walk. Yes. Now, what happens is when the subject is at the end of the walk, all of the stuff on the lower left, yeah, and what, what uh, Lynn is pointing to, but the stuff on the lower left. You see that line in there, the green? Yeah. All that green, it's moving. The wall is moving. The, uh, everything is moving toward this arc. Yeah. And what happens when you get to the end of that arc? That mm -hmm. orange appears. Yeah. Gotcha. You could cut him out and stick him right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He'll be kind of big, but. <laughs> you know, so I, I broke my cardinal rule. I did this the night it was due. <laughs> yeah. And you, you see now that uh, the element of surprise at this is yeah. this beautiful scene with this arc, and then there's a human at the end of it. But yeah. right now, the human. The human has taken up a lot of interest before I, I get to enjoy the photograph. What about if he took out the human altogether, Robert? Uh, I think it'll be slightly empty. Okay. I mean, it's still a cool thing. I mean, even if there's no person there. It's there, were cool. a, there were a lot of people in there. <laughs> yeah. But it's one of those things when you're shooting, um, all the time when I'm shooting, and I've mentioned this uh, uh, in the past, is that you keep shooting. You don't stop and go one or two shots and I, I got it. You follow that scene all the way through. At some point there is a, is a composition. Gotcha. I wish Jim McWilliams was here to take out that little black thing that's right in the upper middle there. Up uh, out on the red, go on the red, to the right of the red. One more over. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, 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 right. It's been a long day. <laughs> Look at the red line, the two red lines. Yeah. They said a black thing right there. Oh, okay. Now I can't see anything on my screen. There's not much here. There's a black right. Right there? Uh, no, to the left, to the left. Yeah, right, right there. Right there. Yeah, okay. There's a big black black thing going in there. Probably something he he uh um took out of it, cloned out or something. Right, right. And it, and it, and it did a terrible terrible job because he's not here. I'm saying that. 
Yeah, that takes care of it. Yeah, that, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I would, I would, you know, again, these things always could use less, you know, more contrast, a lot yeah. of dark. Yes, it's all about color. I'm really curious about this next shot. This is Steve. He's not here. I don't think he's here tonight. Steve's not here. No. Yeah, I wanted to know why his his ISO was so high. Probably because he was shooting in the woods. Although it looks like the you know the sun is shining right on these things with all those shadows. And that makes it flat yeah. because of of uh, the shadows that don't have enough depth to them. So it means more blacks. Thank you. Yeah. Am I coming across choppy in, in my response? Mm -mm. Oh. This has okay. got kind of a weird, like, I don't know. It's almost like there's some sort of, look at all the colors in here. It's kind of weird looking. No tree yeah. looks like that. <laughs> I, think, I think it might be colored noise. Yeah, I think this thing probably was super dark, super dark. And and he uh, somehow brought it up, and that's how come there's all this no all this color stuff. Weird, yeah. weird looking stuff is in this bar. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Uh. Uh. What? Uh, Jack, I got Jack. Jack, please chime in on this one. I am way too close to this. I thought it was beautiful. I love the blue color in the mountains. Yeah, it's oxidation from what I'm what I was told while I was in Death Valley. Uh, un, uh, unfortunately, I have to agree with you that the title is just right on the money. I tried. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> And I listened to the guy in the conference. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually, these colors were not apparent until a certain, you know, the light got to a certain way. I mean, we were there, we got there and the, it was almost, it was still almost dark, so. So is this a morning or an evening? It was in the morning. Oh, okay. Well, your your strong blue is, is an anchor top and your warm yellows are uh, an anchor bottom. Yeah. And then the nice, just uh, subtle hues in between, with that aqua being the ma the main subject here. Is the aqua and a light room enhancement, or is no, it really no? That it, I mean, I, I, you know, I added contrast to this primarily, but no, that's an oxidation in the pink as well. It's an oxidation of the minerals in the in the in the rocks. So, and Brian, you've been here. This is Twenty Mule Team Canyon. Okay. The difference in the time of day is all made all the difference in the world. I was shocked, absolutely shocked. So, well, there you go. Nice. Thank you. This is uh, Steve's as well. Steve is not here. I don't think so. Oh man, Steve, I was going to give you a compliment. Yeah, I like this leaf right here. That's exactly the compliment right there. <laughs> Out of all of this, this normal, you know, beautiful waterfall kind of thing, the thing that that grabbed my attention was the leaf in the, in the foreground. Yeah. So, too bad. Uh, Fong. Yes. Um, you have any shots where the the um, bird is out of uh, its beak is out of the water with the fish? Where he lifts his head up. This no is answer. this is not the fish. This is the shell. Uh, does he have one? Where it's, it's, it's the beak is out of the water. Yeah. Do you have another another shot of this where he's his his head up is uh, his beak is a little higher up? Mm, I lost. I have another shot. The whole thing. Not on the water. Yeah. Yeah, it would have okay. been better if it wasn't in the water. Yeah. Oh, okay. Beautiful color contrast there. You 
You hit it right on the money. I just need that beat to come out of the water. Yeah, I have a one from water. Yeah. But how do you make this ice shine, shining? Could you? How to make what shiny? What? Eyeball. Eyeball? Shiny? Yeah. yeah. His, idea, his idea is actually, it's not bad because there is a little bit of, uh, you see right here at the top, there's a there's one little yeah, light. Yeah, not a good. Yeah. And no, so it is good. That's fine. His eye is fine. Ah, uh, oh. Yeah, he, he does look like he's alive, where the zebra yeah. didn't. <laughs> yeah, you did good on the, on the eyes. The eye's fine. Okay. This one's great. <laughs> this one's funny. Yeah, he's um, he's got he's got catch eye lights in his eyes, so it's good. Um, the, the, now who, who shot is this? It's Rod Meyer. Rod. 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 Uh, I I want you to think about your tone separation. Down at the bottom, the tones are matching way too closely. So give the foreground a little bit of darkness. The midground a little bit of light, and then the, the, the background a little bit of darkness again. We could and do with, the same thing with him that we did with the bird. And now you get you get a 3D kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Now I uh, the, the amount of darkness and lightness throughout it, that's up to you, but but to have separation between the foreground, your subject, and then the background again, having different tonalities. Yes, no, uh, you want to yeah. shoot me? Yeah, I, I experimented with, I had the background darker to start with, and I kind of liked it when I lightened it up, but I like it what you're doing to it too. So, uh, yeah, but very humorous uh, type of image. Yep. And squirrels are just, you know, they're dime a dozen, but when you can capture them like this, it's kind of fun. Thank you. You're just trying to just try to separate them from the background a little bit. That's all. This is this is this is kind of like portraiture. <laughs> Yeah, taken taken my backyard. I, the other picture I have was taken on the same stump. Yeah. There's a tree stump back there, and the squirrels and the birds and everything in the backyard sits on it at one time or another. Is this a squirrel studying to be a preacher? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was you're talking about captions. What to title it? And I, his pose was kind of cute, and I didn't know. Yeah. What to call it? It oh, looks yeah. almost like he's got his hand over his heart. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Good, good title on that one. They win. <laughs> you still oh. there? Oh, yes. Uh, where did you uh, find this owl uh, at what, what, what store? One of those stuffed owls. Oh, this is a near Arctic. Near the Arctic. Yeah, it's okay. a, it's it's a, it's in Canada. All right, I want you to I want you to do one thing for me to give this shot a mere mere perfection. Can you do this one thing? Mm. All right, all of your energy is is already composed really nicely. Take away the edge on the left hand side where it's jagged. Right over here? Yeah, right over there. Bring it in and right down. Uh, that's all, just that where the shadow starts. Yes. Uh, uh, Come into, into the shadow. Into the shadow. Yes. Okay, good. Now, I don't have that side pulling me away. Okay. Okay. Good point. Yeah, see, there's, yeah, there's oh, too I much. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. You know what? I wonder, I just so wondered what, what you guys would do without me. <laughs> That's why we need you here. <laughs> you know, the, the thing about it is that if I have to say that all the time, you know, my ego is very, very shallow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. This one's Jan. Jan. Yeah. Jan, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I, I equated this with my own hair. And it gave me a, a, 
it gave me a reggae feel to it. It was very much personified. Oh, that's great. I'm yeah. glad you think, felt that yeah. way. I think I would just, I just took the, the highlights down just a little bit. It was a little bright. And then I yep. added some more contrast again to separate it more from the background. Okay, that's great. We got all these little squigglies and we want to be able to see them. I mean, you yep. could go down to here <sighs> and do a little, you know, playing around with some of this to try to get let, you know, I don't know, you can just play around with that a little bit too, so. Okay. But yes, cool image and you've got the title, perfect. It's long, like but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sherry. Yeah. Thank you. For? For this image. It's oh. simplicity. Uh, I, I just want to take out the one thing, that one little hole up there in the, uh, in the upper right uh, air region, that one right there, that little black hole. I want to okay. take that out. But the simplicity and the, and the strength of this one tiny building among the, uh, the things that they took to build it um, is a really cool composition to me. The light against on the right hand side against the dark on the left hand side. The the uh, the subtle tones of the middle, uh, the foreground being the dark, the top, the top being the the uh, being very light is a. And I know I'm going to but butcher this term. It's an Italian term, chiaroscuro. Jack, help me out with that. Yeah, with a vignette. Yes, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, everywhere. Is this infrared, uh, Sherry? Yes, it is. And yeah. that was taken in Arapika, by the way, Arapika. which is a small Arapika. village, Whatever very close to where I live. Yeah, it just finally, it was just a little too bright. I mean, okay. yeah, a little, just just because you're losing kind of the detail in the some of the leaves. So I would just take that down just a little bit, not a whole lot, because they, obviously with infrared, you want a lot of bright white, but it's, it's right you here, see, it's not, it's not, uh, you know, if you put it back to the where it was, it's, it's uh, you know, you've got it blown out. But if you just take it down just a little bit, whoops, you lose that, that blown out stuff. Um, okay. Can you put the crop tool on it? I, I want to be convinced that it's not tilted. I don't I don't think it's straight. It is. Look at it's going right across the thing. Line up the, the lines but on the The building itself is not straight. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an old building. It's, it's an old building. Old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like a hundred years uh, old. It's, 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 it, the line is going right along this top of the porch. Yeah. But okay. this down here is not matching. So the porch is, you know, this part of the porch is crooked. And, and the thingy that's underneath the house is not straight either. Steps aren't either. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's not straight. We, the weird thing about a lot of photography is the, more, the simpler, the better, but the treatment that you gave this was just the right treatment to make this stand out. Thank you. Uh, Doug? <laughs> Poor bird. Yeah. <laughs> Doug, you got a lot of stuff going on behind this bird. Yeah. Oh, in, order yeah. to tell, in order to tell this story. You can get rid of some of it, but not. Yeah. We'd have to clone that out. Right. Because I need to get down to that, that broken foot. And you're giving me a lot of information in the background that's keeping me from I'm, that. I'm trying not to focus on that, you know. <laughs> I hear you. And Doug. Yeah. I'm glad to see you back, man. <laughs> yeah, I was going to call it, you know, he didn't have a leg to stand on, but I did, thought that, yeah, that would be a good one. <laughs> politically. <laughs> Only one leg to stand on. Do you see what I did here? I just took, I just took down, I uh, went ahead and just, I selected him and I took the background down again. Yeah. And then but he was working, he was working the bridge pretty good. Yeah. Uh, where was this taken? Arapika. No, they're Arapika. <laughs> Yes, we're glad to see Doug back. We haven't seen him in a while. And Sh Sherry's been lurking about, but she hasn't submitted anything. And she submitted stuff today. Yay. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been able to go out yep. too much lately. You yep. know, I have bad knees, so I can't really walk that far. No. I have a lot of trouble with my knees, so. Got to find some stuff to shoot in the house. Taking so hard. 
when when we have uh, when we have our minimalism uh, guy, he shoots almost everything he shoots is in his house, <laughs> and it's stuff is like fine art. So, go uh, ahead, Robert. Is is, is uh, Jack still here, or did he leave? This is the, this is I don't know if he's. I don't know this is Lee's photograph. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that I found found striking, along with the composition of this, I found that the lady in the in the cart in the little cab there was looking at Lee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is he doing? Yeah. So that was a that was an extra added interest there. And there actually I, it, was I think four of us standing there taking pictures of the of the Ferris wheel. So. She's leading the whole group of us. Like, what I would, doing? I would actually open up that up a little bit, uh, just that area right there, because that would that portion becomes much more of a a human uh, adventure than than just the Ferris wheel by itself. So you're forcing your sub, your viewer to look inside there. So yes, wonderful. I wish Karen was here. And and I'm going to tell you about the composition on this. You see where the stem goes into the, um, that's a big problem. There is a line against a, 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 an edge instead of separation. So you would have liked to see the stem like up here? And, and just higher up. Yeah. So that it separated that, that, that edge. Yeah. You know, we, we talk about tangents a lot, about two lines coming together. Yeah, when they come together like that. You can see, I'm, I'm overdoing this, but now you can see where the stem is. Right. So you're saying the stem needs to be like coming out more out of the corner or? No, 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 no right at the like bottom, this. right where the, 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 um, the flower and the stem meet, that needs to be down, down at the bottom with the green at the bottom where the green is. Okay. That needs to be raised up. So the flower, if, right. if she had pushed the flower a little bit back. Not back, up. Up? Well, yes. Back would be up in a picture. <laughs> you okay. Can't, you can't make a, whore, a flower you know, go up in the air. <laughs> uh, now, look at the stem. Go with the green and the, the, the stem. Follow the stem to where it meets the flower. Right there. Right there, okay, if, you, if you, that goes north. Yep. Yes, yep. like so, then that's, that, that stem would not run along the bottom edge of right. the line. So those two lines are now meeting. Yep. Or if she, or if she added like another inch to the bottom of the photo. That's correct, absolutely. Yeah. It's too top, it's too top weighted without enough bottom, bottom uh, yeah. to, support it and especially as dark as it is so you yes. really don't know what's going on down there you just that's kind of correct sort of see it all right next this is awesome <laughs> absolutely uh, only thing i'm gonna ask you to do is bring down that foreground uh wood just a little bit you can leave the background but bring down the foreground wood Yeah, you always with birds, it's always an issue. I spend a lot of time darkening the branches because you don't want them competing. And you see, in this case, the branch is brighter than the birds. So it takes your eye away from the birds and you don't want that. So you darken it up. There you go. A little warmth. That's all you need. And that makes it so it's not the same tone as the birds. And that's a great picture, and and it's a great Thank title you. too. Thank you. Who, whose shot is that? That's Rod again. Rod. Rod. Rod, stop doing that. <laughs> Rod's been going crazy with the animals. There should be. I submitted two photos. Notice the birds are on the same stump that the squirrel was on. Yeah. Yeah, you should have had a little more time in between to go yeah, out and tweak yeah. this one up before you got to it. <laughs> well, you just, you know what you needed to go out there and darken that stump out up. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have light room like you do. In uh, a, in a you, need to, hard time. you need to go out in your yard and darken the stump. <laughs> you know, that's funny because I thought about getting a can of spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> 
You are putting. Hey, your... Lee, could you show around? me how to how to get a mask? This mask. Yeah, you use this right here. This little doohickey here. You click on the mask. This oh. is the mask right here. This is all the new mask stuff. And so when you say create a new mask, it gives you all these choices. So oh. you need to watch Robert's uh, education night that he did in January because he talks all about that. It's recorded and you need to watch it on the, just go on the website okay. and watch the January Daddy. Daddy. Uh, education okay. night because it's all on there. And, and I okay. don't have Lightroom yet, so I haven't committed to getting it, but it's time. convincing me. <laughs> It's time because <laughs> it makes it makes this pro post processing so much easier. Believe me, I used to spend a lot more time in Photoshop than I I'm and since this last version of Lightroom Classic came out, I very I don't hardly go over to Photoshop at all anymore. Yeah, I see that. Yep. The other thing is this kind of bright thing back here. That's that's a little distracting as well. So you might you know try to somehow get rid of that. Yeah, I, I did try tonight. It's a yeah, it's stick kind of or a branch or something. Yeah. It? So go out in your yard and clean up around the stump. <laughs> 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 it's not like you're shooting out in the middle of the woods someplace and you can't do that, or you actually can. But you know, normally you, you know you don't expect if you if you're going to have animals coming to this thing, make it so that your background is as clean as you can. That's the birds that I'm shooting. I've made a perches. I have the feeders up. And then I have perches that are in places where the background is so far away and there's nothing behind them that I have nothing but a just big blurry background. So if you're gonna shoot animals in your backyard, then that's the way to do it is to figure out how to make your background as, as, as pure and blurry as possible. But those little birds tend not to sit in the same place all the time and they never stop moving. So yeah. this was the oh, yeah. rare chance here. Yeah, those little wrens are like, I have a couple of those that hang around my house as well. Okay, back. To, we're almost done, guys. Uh, absolutely yeah. stunning. If I could just give a little more in, uh, information on top of that, you got any room anywhere on top. Who shot is this? Sylvia. Sylvia. Sylvia, just a little bit more room on that top piece up there. That's all I need. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's, gonna, she's gonna bang her head on the top of the picture. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta give her a little room. Okay. Other than that's really cool. And and again, great title. <laughs> yeah, one of our little one of those little colts that they had just been born and three days later the pair showed up with only one colt. The other one, I don't know if a predator got it or if it died of yeah. sickness, but we only have one now. Fortunately, only usually one, only one survives. Yeah. Hey, Sylvia. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tout the camera club. Before you came here, we didn't get images like this. Oh. I mean, well, once, when you first came here, we didn't get images oh. like this. Oh, well, no. Well, no. That's right. Exactly. I, 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 I'll, I'll be a testimonial for uh, the camera <laughs> club and you and Jim and Lynn, too. Lynn, Lynn's really helped me a lot because she, I like to listen to mm -hmm. her bird images and kind of know what she's done. And so it makes a big difference. And then, Just telling you. And then here's the next one. This one is Diana. And Diana has come so far with her bird. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. Great bird <laughs> fly. yeah. Really is. She's not here. Now she's got a little bit of an issue here with the, she's trying to, I, this bird was probably because he had the sun coming right down on him. This was really dark underneath here. So she's got kind of a line here that's a little artificial looking, but other yeah. than that, it's a great shot. Yep. Yeah, she's, she's come a long way as well. And this is, believe me guys, this is not easy to do. These guys are not easy to catch in flight, number one, because usually they're back in these sticks and you can't even get a picture, of, a straight picture of them without a stick in there in front of them or you know, a whole bunch of sticks in front of them. Then she's also shooting this in front of all the sticks which is hard to focus on the bird. Now, fortunately, a black crown night heron is pretty big and they're not super fast. So it's a good one to, to you know, work on in terms of flying. But usually when you go after a bird in flight and it's in front of all this stuff like that, you don't catch, you, you, it's hard to focus on them, especially when they're moving like this. So good, good shot for her. Yep. And then we've got this one. It looks like a mirror image. Did you cut this bird in half and make it 
<laughs> bins. <laughs> Almost looks like a mirror image on the sides. This is beautiful when we win. Luann, I can't believe Luann left at the time that I was giving her a critique. <laughs> yeah, it's beautifully done. I want to go to the next one, really, though. And I want to say, um, Fong? Yes. Uh, I need you to work on that focus. Yeah. Yes, very, very windy. This, I shoot this <laughs> picture, very uh, windy. Your composition is really nice in this, but I'm missing that. I'm missing that focus. Uh, yeah, the focus is like um, trying to figure out where it is. Yeah, it's like yeah. maybe right uh, here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's further back than it than it needs to be. Yeah, I mean you're at three point eight f three point eight. That's really really shallow. Something like this, uh, you need to be shooting at least f. 5.6 or 6.1. Oh, okay. 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 Got it. And then you're still not going to get all of like the back part in focus, but at least you'll get a good bit yeah. of this part in focus. So yeah, you're just you're you're going way too low on your uh, uh, oh. 105 lens. Okay. And and okay. please, can Fon, can you shoot this sort of thing again for me, please? Huh? Can you Go shoot ahead. this again, please? Yeah, oh. use a higher, you know, up, you know, smaller f-stop, and you'll be better. You'll be, you'll be way, uh, way better. So, yeah, it's, it looks okay. to me like, yeah, here actually, right there is the focus point. Yeah, right there. that's it on that line. And and with you know, with a with a macro lens shooting macro, your depth of field is like very, 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 very small, <laughs> and so it's right here. Okay. Okay. Got it. Hmm. So the flowers are even the. Even the, well, there's maybe a couple of the drops that are in the same plane as this little leaf that are in focus-ish. <laughs> but the, even though the water drops are, are, are not in focus totally. So yeah, try right, it again. Yeah. You should have blueberries blooming all over the place uh, in Lakeland area. So see if you can find okay. more and try it with a, a little you know, better uh, f-stop. Okay. And, and watch your background too. Try to move around so you don't have other stuff. I know it's hard on a plant like this, but yeah, you could you could actually move it around, uh, try to get just the red or something behind it. And if not, then just take, go into to paint, you can paint uh, the color just like we did with that, uh, with a mask, the masking brush. You could go in here with the brush and go down here with your color and pick, I don't know, can you get black on this? I don't know if you can get black. Is there no, a way you're not gonna get black. black. No, mm -hmm. not black. You can't get black? Okay. No, it, 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 but, it, yeah. You get that's exposure. You lower the exposure to get black. You could you could get just go like this and and lower your exposure just to get. I mean that's a that's a little that's a little ridiculously too much, but okay. You know, just you want to get rid of all that because it's taken away from this really. Once they're in focus, these are going to be pretty flowers. So okay, okay. You could, you could actually do that painting in uh, Lightroom or in, excuse me in Photoshop too. That's I think we've shown that in, in the past as well. So okay. Last but not least, who shot is this? This is Sherry K. Sherry, you still with us? Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I about this one is he's a little yellow. These birds are not quite that yellow. Now, now, Lynn, uh, Lynn, I want you to not change the yellow in anything other than the bird. Okay. Back to masking again. Yes. Select the subject. We'll see how good it, it's doing great tonight. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it missed its leg, but, and it cut it, well, that's part of them too. So we're going to take the yellow down just a little bit on the bird. I know he's probably in the afternoon. But it's just a little too bright for me, and yeah, this this that was my first thought when I saw him is, oh my god, that bird is not that yellow. That's actually closest. That's closer to his their normal shade. Now I had you bring it down in that manner because the warmth around him is yeah. is actually going to serve as a contrast. We could make him purple, <laughs> 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 or we could make him blue. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately the. The ability. I hope they at some point they actually add some of the s a s you know uh, 
S H S L stuff to the mask because that would be nice. We're kind of limited in what we can do the color on in here, but just to just to compare. Yeah, he's still warm, but he's not quite as he's still warmer than his normal color because he's yeah. in the sunset or the you know late afternoon or early morning, whatever it is, probably late afternoon. But then he doesn't look quite so orange because that's that's not right. no, that's not normal. Yeah, he's too. Pretty shot though. I like the palmetto yep. at the bottom. It's right, that, that composition is uh, on the money. Yep. So, yeah, great. Just, uh, a little, just a little color correction, that's all. Sherry, just stop stop coming here and making me happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. All right. All right, great. Thank you. Everybody, thanks for coming. Good and night. We finally Thank made you. it. Thank you. And hopefully, Nancy, you got Good something night. out of this. I know it took us a long time, but we got there. Actually, it's less than we normally take. So thank you. Awesome. Everybody. Thank you, thank you for coming. Everyone. See we'll see y'all next everybody. Week. We'll see y'all next you. week. Bye.